AMBEST is maintaining a stable outlook on the global reinsurance sector. In terms of the global non-life reinsurance sector, there are several factors that are underpinning our rationale. First is the continued alignment between third-party capital and traditional reinsurers. We see this take the form of joint ventures or even direct ownership, but most frequently we see the use of third-party capital in traditional reinsurers' retrocession programs. This has helped reduce earnings volatility to some extent and also taken away some of the tail risk. Another factor is the, the belief that AMBEST's belief that third-party capital will hold the line in terms of return expectations going forward after the significant impact of uh, catastrophic losses over the past several years. There's also been some increased loss costs associated with those catastrophes, and we're also seeing those uh, loss cost trends in some attritional classes of business. All of this has led to some favorable pricing momentum, particularly in the property catastrophe space. We're also seeing opportunities in terms of organic growth. Not that much, but still some opportunities nonetheless in mortgage and cyber and with government-related pools like the National Flood Insurance Program. As for the global life reinsurance sector, we continue to see the market being dominated by several large players. Although we have seen some new entrants and growth opportunities in Asia, overall the market does remain concentrated. The life reinsurers or the life reinsurance operations of global reinsurers have added stability to earnings by providing a stable and steady stream of income. We do have some concern about some company-related legacy issues and, and other regulatory issues, but overall we expect that the life reinsurance segment will continue to serve as a ballast for earnings for the overall market. We do expect the uh, positive pricing momentum to continue um, in the near to medium term. We do have some concerns about things that could derail the uh, favorable momentum. That is the diminished benefit from favorable reserve releases, uh, which has declined in each of the past five years. We're also have, we also have some concerns about some pricing inadequacies in casualty lines and uh, the pervasive low interest rate environment, which uh, will moderate investment income for the foreseeable future.